Hi, good morning. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet. And this week I would like to focus on Dossier perfumes because I have collected quite a few. Every week I would like to focus on a different perfume house or different fragrance topic. Either way, it's going to involve scents and it's going to be in my closet. <laughs> I started the channel because I was noticing that every morning I'd come in here to choose my scent of the day and it normally would, it, it's a little bit of a process in my head and I would speak to myself about it. So I decided why not start a channel and every morning I can share my thoughts with myself <laughs> on the YouTube, right? So if you are a fragrance lover and you'd like to learn more about layering combos and what's out there as far as options in the fragrance world, then go ahead and subscribe to my channel because we'll be talking so much talk about scents <laughs> in here. And um, so go ahead and hit the like button, the notification bell, so you'll get notifications about when we upload uh, videos. We, as in me and Charlie, because he normally barges right in through that door. Charlie's my corgi mix, and I have, um, you've already met him if you've watched previous videos. Um, so yeah, he hasn't, he hasn't fully awakened this morning, but okay, so... This is actually, I'm totally going to go off topic here for two seconds because this is actually a very special shirt. This shirt my daughter bought for me with her own money for my birthday and it's um, because she got herself a job and I posted about her first uh, choice for scent uh, for her first day on the job and all that. So um, yes, I, that's, that's the reason why this shirt is so special <laughs> and you should know because those are good things to know. I kid. Um, okay, so let's dive in here. We have no time to waste. There are so many dossier perfumes out there. Have you looked at their website? It's crazy. Um, there's there's a lot of different reasons why somebody would look into a clone house or a dupe house. There's so many options out there on the market. If you've seen Etsy, um, if you've looked on eBay, if you've, you know, just been on Facebook, if you've ever typed a perfume name into your search engine, anywhere on Google, Facebook, all that, you just, you, at least it happened to me when I was looking for caramel overdose or how to get a hold of caramel overdose by be layered, I was, um, I was, you know, typing perfumes into my search engine. And then as soon as that happened, dossier just started popping up, popping up. So they've got some awesome algorithms going on this dossier and they're an amazing option. If you love perfumes and you want to grow your collection but you don't want to break the bank doing it this is beauty on a budget right here i'm a mother of three and um three dogs husband and my mother uh as well lives here so yeah where i'm always looking for a way to either save money or you know keep up um Let's not call it an addiction. No, no, no. This is a necessity. Uh, keep up with a hobby. Keep up with a hobby <laughs> that I love um, because everybody needs something, right? And I would say this is the lesser of a lot of evils out there. <laughs> so uh, this uh, hobby of mine began during the pandemic and I just started cleaning out my closet and finding fragrances that I hadn't worn in a couple of years. I really, really stuck to the Juicy Coutures and the, you know, not not to bash them. Are you kidding me? Juicy Couture is my signature scent from 2002 all the way, you know, for years uh, because it's, it's a very special scent for me. The original, not the Viva La Juicy, the original Juicy Couture. But anyway, that's going off topic. Um, so yes, Dossier. I started cleaning out my closet. And then I got into the world of perfumery all over again. Because why? Because of the way it made me feel. Because it uplifted my mood. I had something to look forward to every single morning. Um, as far as getting ready, it's it's like it's an accessory. It's it's like picking your sunglasses for the day, or you know your clothes, your wardrobe. It's it's a beautiful thing, and I I fell in love with it all over again. Uh, so here we are. Here we are on scent talk from my closet. And last week, we focused on Serge Off 
Uh, it's um, and the second niche house that I really explore more than one or two cents, and I got I got a hold of seven decant. So if you're interested in that, go and check out uh, my previous videos. But as far as dossier is concerned, uh, like I said, they just started popping up, and um, I decided, hey, why not give it a try? So my first order I placed for four, um, only four of the the dossier fragrances. And I believe those four were Floriental Vanilla, so Black Opium, Fruity Neroli, um, which is the Joe Malone. I love anything fruit, you know, um, and I thought it was, that was a good, uh, Fruity Honey, I'm sorry, was the Joe Malone um, Nectarine Blossom and Honey, I believe. And uh, let me see what else. There was two more. Oh, I remember it was a Tom Ford. That, that didn't set well with me and I actually returned it because they have a pretty good return policy, this dossier. Um, you return the fragrance to dossier and what they do is they hand over that fragrance to women's shelters. So that's that's just incredible to me. That's such that's a company with a purpose for sure. Um, so, so, so many things that they could do with it and, and that's what they decided to, to do. Um, so I returned that and I, I didn't have Ambry Safe on yet because I was not yet into the Baccarat Rouge 540. And now ask me how many dupes and clones of the original Baccarat Rouge 540 that I have or that I own. That's a, that's a whole nother week in itself. We can totally do that. <laughs> Same goes for Floriental Marshmallow, which is the, um, what is the word? The Dupe for Love by Killian, Don't Be Shy. Uh, can I? Oh, yes. This was my part of my first order. Uh, Floral Lavender. This was uh, YSL Lib Libre. It is. It was one of the most comforting scents, honestly. Totally unisex because of that musk, I feel. I know it's not marketed to unisex, but um, so my 10 year old got a hold of that one, by the way. <laughs> um, and then I gave out quite a few samples and, and whatnot. So. Okay, so that's Dossier Floral Lavender. Okay, so that was my first order. After that, I just started buying other other fragrances here and there, and I would find myself coming back and coming back to Dossier just to see their offerings, their selections, right? Um, so then I got into uh, Santal 33, and I got me the tiniest of decants. And do I have it here? It's one of my favorites. I don't know where it's at. So I got the tiniest decant of Santal 33. Um, that's before signing on to Royalty Scents. And I got the tiniest decant because now I have a, a bigger 8 ml, I believe, of that. Um, oh, well, that was nice. Le Labo Santal 33, okay? I really, really enjoy this fragrance. Oh my goodness, yes. Santal 33 is this just wonderful fragrance. It is so, so earthy and sweet somehow on, on your skin. And it reminds me of rain for whatever reason. So this is my rainy day scent is Santal 33. I've already picked a scent for weather. Then this, this is, this is the one that I choose for that. So, but you know, I would love to get a full bottle of Santal 33, but I've told myself, if you're familiar with the brand Le Labo, they do this mixture in front of you and they just, you know, they do the concoction and, and then you can put anything, whatever you want on the label. And I'm just all about that. I want that experience. So when, when and if, and when I get my full bottle of Santal 33, I will go to I will get it at a counter. Okay, I want it made in front of me. I want the experience. Um, so meanwhile, so that's the reason why I got the Santal 33. Because meanwhile, you know, what am I going to do? I'm not going to purchase the full size bottle for hundreds of dollars. So in comes Dossier to save the day. And of course, Royalty Scents with their 8ml offering. I can even put some of this in there in that 8ml travel size. Where are we? Woody Sandalwood, right? Oh, yes. Yes. It smells to me, to my nose, similar. So good. 
I guess it's been raining quite a bit. Look at that. Look at that dent. My goodness. Okay. All right. I'm getting a little excited and I'm all over the place. So I apologize. But it's just that I really do, really do enjoy Dossier. I do. I do enjoy other clone houses as well. I really enjoy Be Layered. We'll get into that later. Um, I enjoy, I found, so as I was, I oil perfumery. And I don't have any of their, I have Okcha here. I have a sampler. I have a sampler that we can go over, okay, on another week. Um, but I really do enjoy looking up different dupe houses uh, for the scents that I like and to serve different purposes. Um, but anyway, if you're interested in any of these, then tune in throughout the week, okay? Because I've got... Let me turn around here for you guys. I've got quite a bit here. So we've got Ambry Saffron, okay, which is the dupe for uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, right here, Ambry Saffron. And I love that it has the notes on it as well. Um, then we have Floriental Coconut, okay, uh, which is the dupe for um, Tom Ford Soleil, Soleil Blanc right so that's floriental coconut floriental marshmallow the um inspiration inspired by what is it love by killian don't be shy and i have plenty to compare this lovely fragrance to then we have floral grapefruit which is el chance au tendre I'm not, I'm not French. I have no idea how to say that. <laughs> Utendre, Utendre, I believe. Floral grapefruit. Floral lavender, the YSL Lieb, uh, or Libre. Again, don't know how to pronounce things. Oriental tobacco, which is the Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Um, do, I mean, inspiration, inspired by them. So I bought this believe it or not. <laughs> I'm going to interrupt myself to give you little backstories here, apparently. Oriental Tobacco, somebody kept mentioning that it went very well with Floriental Marshmallow, um, with Love Don't Be Shy. So Tobacco Vignette with Love Don't Be Shy is supposed to be a really nice combination. And I would love to try that out, but I did not want to spend $300 on a bottle <laughs> or a tiny little decant because I, I really want to try that out. Then we have Woody Tobacco. This is another one. Man, my son is an over-sprayer, let me tell you. Woody Tobacco is uh, Jazz Club by Mason Margiela. MM uh, -M Jazz Club right there. And I actually really do enjoy that one as well, especially right now in the fall. Even though Texas never got with the fall, my goodness. Um, our Floriental Vanilla, which is the Black Opium. Then we have Floriental Tuberose, uh, which is a diptych, dip, diptych, I believe, do, do Sun. I have a tiny little um, decant of this Do Sun that I'd like to compare that to for you guys. Then we got Fruity Neroli, which is, and I just got this Neroli uh, Portofino right here. I just got that from a really, really awesome friend that I made on the groups um so fruity and then we have fruity honey which is a Joe Malone a nectar nectarine and blossom and then we have the citrus tea which is uh my second Layla no my third I've already tried the um what is it called I can't remember right now um I believe this one's the 29 Citrus tea. I didn't write that out. I'm not sure. What is this? Oh, Norier, no, Norier 29 is this one. I've tried another 13 is the one that I've tried as well. And honestly, I went like anosmic to another 13. So I'm not sure if anybody else has had this experience with the Le Labo another 13, but it's just, it's a beautiful scent. It's so comforting i i found it to be very soft subtle very clean um but tiny bit sweet it's almost like sugar water sugared water it's it smells so good um but i'm gonna have to give that one another round another try because i don't and if they have it 
I believe they have it as well, Dossier. I'll get a hold of that because I, I did enjoy it, but I only have a little oil from, from a dupe house, so I don't I haven't tried the original. Okay. Alright, so let's do this then. Let's see. What are we gonna start with? I have not picked my scent for today and I uh, I do I would like to go over at least four of these with you guys. I don't want to make it too long. I don't want to make it too long. Um, maybe we'll just start from the bottom and go up. Or what are we interested in here? Oh, I'm sure a lot of people will be interested in the Baccarat Rouge by 40, right? That seems to be a, a hot topic. <laughs> so Baccarat Rouge by 40. How did I get introduced to this? Probably in the groups. I kept seeing it all over the place. Mason Francis, Kirk Dijon, like who, who, what is that? So we have Baccarat Rouge by 40. And this is, this is the only original OG that I have because obviously I had never smelled it before. I did, I wanted to know what it was all about before I, um, went out and bought it. Oops, excuse me. <laughs> so this is how far I've gone down and actually my daughter's worn it twice and I've only worn the original once. So this is, that's three wares that we've got right here. <laughs> so this is royalty scents, by the way, and they do carry Baccarat Rouge 540 if you're interested in trying some niche fragrances out and not breaking the bank, as well as Dossier's offerings. This, this amazing company here, they have all the good stuff and it's I think I pay 30 something dollars a month and I get two I get to choose two um so I've collected quite a bit already <laughs> and I'm not even sure what's coming in, in 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 January but this is just a great way um obviously I'm not going to it's not in the the stars at the moment to oh, that's funny that I just said that in the stars uh, anyways, to buy a full bottle of uh, Baccarat Rouge 540, it's a bit on the expensive side. And honestly, I, I'm i scared. When the price is too good for Baccarat Rouge 540, it usually means it's not real. And I'm not trying to mess with that on eBay. I'm not trying to mess with that on Etsy. Um, so I want, I want it to be legit. And honestly, with all the fragrances that I have um, collected so far... I don't see myself needing a full bottle, uh, especially because I'm having so much fun collecting dupes. <laughs> so much fun. I have a lot. Like I said, we can definitely go through that. It'll take uh, it'll take the whole week, I'm sure, to go through all Baccarat Rouge 540. If y'all are interested in that, let me know because I totally have um, quite a bit. When I said it's not in the stars, it reminded me of my in the stars from Bath & Body Works. Uh, this has sunflower, sandalwood, musk, sugar, tangelo, white, argarwood, and radiant amber. And for whatever reason, it gives me Baccarat Rouge 540 vibes. So best believe that I layer this with, uh, with the, with the Baccarat Rouge, okay? Um, and all of its dupes or clones. All right, so now we come to dossiers. Ambry Saffron is what they've called theirs, and it comes in and out of the of the um, website, the Ambry Saffron, I've noticed. So twice I have decided, oh my gosh, I need a backup. So that's one. Here's my other one. So this was the first one that I got, and I'm pretty far down on it already. Call me crazy, but I just love to wear this whenever, to bed, on Saturday, you know, wherever. This is such an easy reach. Now, does it smell like the original Baccarat Rouge 540? Let me tell you this. It does not have, to my nose, to my experience, let me just spray it. Oh yeah, <laughs> it smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Honestly, it really does. I, I have none, nothing, I'm not spraying this, I'm so sorry, but point is, it does smell like your Baccarat Rouge 540. If anything, it has a sweeter opening, and I've also noticed the longer the bottle sits, or the older the batch is, the sweeter um, it seems to me, okay? Uh, does it last? Yes and no. 
I have noticed that my Amber Saffron lasts a good four hours if I layer it with my creams and lotions and my Baccarat Rouge 540 oil perfumery. If I got the layering going on, I really don't have an issue. Plus, I can reapply my oil from oil perfumery or I can just pop my, my bottle in my bag and reapply, no problem. It's, it's not a huge deal. So will I always buy this? Yes, <laughs> because I really enjoy the scent. It, it smells really, really, really close to the original. And like I said, it's even a little bit sweeter. So I like that aspect so much. As well as, as uh, nope, this one's not as sweet as the Ambry Saffron from uh, oil. I mean, this is oil perfumery from Dossier, okay? So, and I love, I love, I love oil perfumery as well. So we have that. I even have the extract version of the, of the oil perfumery Baccarat Rouge 540. And this one for sure is sweeter. So I have paired my Baccarat Rouge 540 extract version with my Dossier Ambry Saffron and it complements it just fine. Okay, so that, that's, that's Ambry Saffron. Um... Yes, I have, like I said, I've, I've worn it many times and I, I thoroughly enjoy it. So much so that with the recent sale, <laughs> I got me my backup to my backup because look at this. It's already going. <laughs> it's going away. Plus, I share this with my six-year-old and also my 16-year-old. Okay, she loves her favorite is Cloud, which is another one that smells like Baccarat Rouge 540. Um, it does go in a, in a fluffier, whipped cream direction. <laughs> that and the, the Ariana Grande Cloud 2.0 as well. Um, oh, so this is this is the, the Dossier experience, by the way. Let me show you guys. So this is, this is my backup. Okay. So your Dossier comes like this with your card iconic sense designer quality no markups um and it comes with your little notes of what notes the perfume has nice and secure sometimes i i have they have not been so secure sometimes they're all over the box which is which you know i just i, I open them right away and i make sure to put them if it's a backup bottle make sure to put it back in its little place here um okay so you just get that out of there and you have your Ambry Saffron. This is my backup. <laughs> this is my backup. So we have top notes of Saffron, Orange Blossom, uh, middle notes Jasmine, Plum, Cedar Wood, base notes of Oak Moss, Fir Balsam, and Amber. Okay. And it's inspired by Mason Francis Cartagena Baccarat Rouge 540 Eau de Perfume. And this is a 15% oil concentration, it says. Okay, so, I mean, you're not getting 30, 40% oil concentrations. But I don't, I don't even know what percentage the... That's interesting. I wonder what percentage of oil concentration is in the Eau de Perfume or versus the extract of Baccarat Rouge. Something to look up, right, at night. Instead of buying things, just research the things you already have. Quick money saving tip right there. <laughs> All right. And you know I also have to have me a backup of the Floriental Marshmallow because next week, one of these weeks, we're going to have Killian Week. Dossier rained on Killian's parade this week, but one of these weeks we're gonna have Killian week and you're gonna see uh, That my love for love don't be shy is strong very strong <laughs> so um, My next one will be here to talk about let's just do that was only one so let's just do uh, three more we got Floriental coconut so let me see where did I this one is <laughs> excuse me oh that one got me <coughs> i inhaled it oh excuse me okay this is flor uh, oriental floriental coconut my eyes are watering <laughs> did i i must have sprayed this uh as soon as it came in because it just got me uh let me see where are we at floriental coconut it is Tom Ford Soleil Blanc, and I only have, let me see, oh, it's right here. Soleil Blanc, Blanc 
this is the way that I was introduced to the um, Floriental Coconut here, Solo Blanc by Tom Ford. Oh my goodness. This I read and I haven't gotten to test it yet. Uh, but this is supposed to be a really, really great summer scent. And I believe it is. I believe I believe it is. Um, I haven't tested it out myself, but honestly, it's always so hot here <laughs> in Texas. Um, there's another way also. For the longest time, I was not familiar with uh, Tom Ford yet. So I thought, oh, I have Tom Ford Eau de Soleil Blanc. I have that. So I was not interested in exploring uh, this fragrance because I honestly do not care for this. Um, Tom Ford Eau de Sola Blanc apparently is a different, a different scent than the Floriental Coconut. So this one I would probably layer with something fruity, coconutty, definitely, or even maybe pineapple because it doesn't have the, the coconut is not prominent in that one. But in the Sola Blanc, it totally is. It smells similar, yes, but it has the coconut and it's amazing. So I decided with my oil perfumery that I was going to layer my Floriental Coconut with my oil perfumery, okay? All right. So let's spray that real quick. Ah. Yes. Yes. It is very, very nice. All right, I have not tested the staying power of this beauty because it is not middle of summer. And that is what this scent reminds me of. Total middle of summer, you're headed to the beach. Mm, I went, you know, they say that Tom Ford um, doesn't last too long, the, the original. So if oil perfumeries last long, I mean oil perfumery, dossieries, dossier, sorry, uh, last as long as... Um, as the or longer than the original then that's a definite plus right all right okay so that was floriental coconut um next we have floriental uh marshmallow okay so this one's new from oil perfumery and uh, should we make this the scent of the day no let's not make this the scent of the day but we have plenty of of um Love, don't be shy. Okay. <sighs> we have travel sizes. We have um, the the original Love, Don't Be Shy travel here. We have Be Layered. I think I have like three of these because you can't refill them. Killian makes a lot of their products refillable and you can't refill these, I've seen. And they're always sold out. Maybe that's why they're always sold out. It's because you can't refill them. <laughs> Um, so we have the original, several different kinds there, and we have our Love Don't Be Shy that I have found is just so good from um, FNK Scentology. When I was researching oils, I came across oil perfumery, of course, and then just most recently, I was like, I want a lotion to go with my Love Don't Be Shy. So I went ahead and purchased this Love Don't Be Shy lotion from FNK Scentology and I got some oils as well. Um, I did this around my birthday month and I just went all out and so I do own quite a bit from this brand as well and it is so good. So Be Layered, Oil Perfumery, FNK Scentology, The Originals, and now Dossier. I was so excited when Dossier came out with theirs because I'm like, I need, I need two bottles, not just one. I need one and a backup because <laughs> I always have this with me. I think I've gone through two bottles of Caramel Overdose, which is the unofficial dupe by Be Layered. And I just love it. I love, love Don't Be Shy. And, but it dissipates a bit. So layering it with the, with the lotion that I found that smells spot on to me at least 98.9%. And I will tell anyone that I come across about it <laughs> because I love it that much. Um, I had never come across an, uh, an item like that. I also have the Baccarat Rouge 540 lotion and, and I don't have the oil because I have 
other a lot of other dupes for baccarat rouge so uh but anyways so that's floriental marshmallow yes it does let's go back to it real quick yes it smells oh it's stuck it smells like love don't be shy oh yes it does this is gonna be such a guilty free spray honestly it really is for me i'm going to just i bet i'm gonna love this i have not tested the longevity of this floriental marshmallow honestly i've given it a few sprays here and there um but let's not do that today i'm not feeling it for today um let me see so that's three let's do two more we can do floral grapefruit here okay so this is my first um floral grapefruit is my first chanel uh church this is a chance au tundra, right this was my first introduction into the chanel world and i did get this uh not from oil not from dossier i got it from um it was a great deal on i believe macari is where i found it oh my goodness great introduction to chanel in fact so, but I really don't have the original to, to layer this with, tell you the truth. Um, but we can wear it today. All right. This is what we're going to wear today. Chanel Chance. Oh, ten, ten, forgive me. <laughs> Tendre, Tendre. And I'm spraying and I'm talking. It is such a lovely scent. It really is. <clears throat> so we're going to wear that today. For sure scent of the day <clears throat> i can't speak to whether or not <laughs> i'm choking i can't speak to whether or not it's exactly the same as the original as i've never smelled it but i can tell you that i found it for uh, you know on, on a great deal and it's really really good it has got grapefruit pear and black currant in the top notes it's got hy hyacinth jasmine and lilac in the middle um, base notes are orris, musks, and amberwood. Nice. Nice, nice fragrance. I am going to go ahead and pop that in my purse just in case I do need to take off to uh, the doctor with my son. And um, that's it for today. I did, honestly, it's already been a little long. So we're going to cut it there. And tomorrow we can go over another four fragrances and then at the way end of the week if you haven't already guessed we will definitely go <laughs> into my top five out of all of these okay but for today we went over four of them and we will be doing the top five at the end of the week okay how does that sound y'all if you enjoyed today's video if you have any questions at all whatsoever of anything i rambled on about please let me know in the comment section and i'll be glad to answer um yeah that's that's basically all we got going on today and for the rest of the week you can uh, definitely tune back into the channel so that we can go over the rest of the dossiers scent of the day floral grapefruit um chanel chance oot tundra Something about water, I think it stands for. Um, all right, y'all have a blessed day. Stay safe out there, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.